eight followers of CrossFit Foothill and Tiki Fit. Uh, today we bring you our third at-home workout since we've been, you know, doors closed, quarantine shut down. Uh, today our athletes are going to be Tanya, my wife, and my daughter Aria. We're going to do a little bit of warming up. We're going to do a little bit of working out. Uh, what you'll need from home today is either a dumbbell or two. The warm up, Tanya's going to go a little bit lighter, and you know if you have a set of dumbbells at home. Awesome, grab a light one and then a working weight one. Or if you've got no equipment at home, we're gonna have like a two-handed object. We have a, a roller that we had here in the gym that Aria's gonna use, go and pick it up in. She's gonna hold it from the sides and pretty much just work, you know, along that plate of motion. Um, so yeah, go ahead and put it down, thanks, babe. So whether it's a, a bag of flour, a bag of rice, a loaded backpack, um, a sandbag, uh, anything that's, that's weighty, that you can pick up that's that's rigid enough for you to not you know spill it or ruin it. Um, you don't need to throw it on the ground. This is something that needs to be super durable. You can be the more control you have, with the better workout you're going to get. So let's start with our warm up, guys. Uh, it's not for time, so we're going to move through this. Um, it says three sets. We're going to do two uh, together as a group, and it's going to start with a shoulder to overhead. If you've got equipment at home, you're going to take your dumbbell, put it up on one shoulder, and you're going to press it overhead five times. Switch and then do five on the other side. All right, you're gonna represent our no equipment option and you're gonna press overhead up to 10, okay? All the way up, baby. Good. Good. Next, we're going to step up to a stair. So you're gonna face forward and have the stairs be next to you. If you don't have stairs, then you can just do like a side lunge or step up to a small stool. Or you're gonna face this way, and you're gonna put your left foot up there. And you're gonna step up 10 times with the same leg. Okay, now at home you'll turn around, but all right, if you go to the other side of your box and then use your other leg to step up, we're gonna do this 10 more times. Good job, ladies. Next, we're gonna do 15 sit-ups. So go ahead and lay on the ground, and we're gonna do 15 sit-ups. If you don't have an ab mat, you can make a little uh, lumbar support out of a rolled up t-shirt or a sweatshirt like Tanya just did. Otherwise, just do your sit-ups. This is just for the warm-up, guys. Watch your head, please, Aria. There you go, all the way up. Baby, only go as long as mommy's going. You don't need to do all 15. And then I believe we're doing burpees. Air squats, sorry. 20 air squats. So all right, all along the bottom. And 20 air squats. Remember, that was a good time to focus on our form. We're gonna drive our knees apart. We are going to sit back on our heels. Good. Put your hands up in the air like this, baby girl. There you go. That'll help you keep your chest high. Good. All right, that was round one of the warm up. Enjoy uh, them in fast motion as they go through a set.
So the reason that we have one of our kids working out with us today is because today is a perfect workout to bring your kids, even if they can't count. This is a great way for you to do your PE at home. It's a great way for you to get them involved with what you're doing. If you're into fitness and your kids aren't, or if neither of you are, this is a great introduction to get your kids in. Here's why. The way that this workout works is we are going to do a movement as much as we can in a given minute. Then the next minute, we all move on to the next movement. So let's say Tanya does 10 of the first movement in the first move, the first minute, or 20 of them. It doesn't matter how many Arya did. She's just gonna follow and do whatever mom's doing. Not as important for a six-year-old to track their reps. It's not as important for a six-year-old to see how many pounds they're lifting. But for those of us that track our fitness, you know, this way we can still count our reps and just say, Arya, we're moving to this move, or whatever your kid's name is, and then you just change the move you're doing. And then find something around the house, maybe a big stuffed animal or a heavy pillow or whatever they might have, baby sister, and have them do the workout with, um, with their odd object in the same space as you. All you need is some open space, some feet of separation, and a single dumbbell. We use the boxes to simulate our stairs for the warm up, but even if you can't um, use your stairs, well, we're too late now, but if you end up rewinding it, if you couldn't do, use your stairs, um, you can do uh, side squats or lateral lunges. Um, and something along those lines. Just something to simulate bending and stepping up. Bending your legs and stepping up. So today, we're gonna do a workout called Garage Bike. It's gonna be three rounds of one minute at each of these movements. The first is going to be a dumbbell goblet thruster or an odd object thruster. We'll show you both movements. The second is going to be single dumbbell power cleans. We'll go over those two. Um, or single odd object power cleans. We're gonna do pops over our odd object or dumbbell. We're going to do single arm push presses with our dumbbell or both arm push presses with our odd object. And then we're gonna do burpees. And then our favorite part is the one minute rest. So five movements at a minute each and then a minute rest. Five more of those same movements, another minute rest, and then a third round. So like I said earlier, it simulates an MMA fight. Five minutes in a five minute round, a one minute rest before round two, then a one minute rest before round three. We're gonna be able to do this um, at a pretty high intensity. And it doesn't matter what size dumbbell or odd object you have, because if it's too light, you're gonna do more work, which is awesome. So um, what we're also gonna show you is, um, I don't know that everyone has such a fancy clock that beats every minute for 17 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this off of a standard stopwatch. We're just gonna count up. And on the minute, I, being their coach, are gonna tell them what to move to next. And you guys are gonna follow along. So let's grab your water, grab your whiteboard so you can write down how many reps you've got. Um, grab, grab your odd object. Um, ladies, if you can push your boxes out of the way and get your non-working dumbbell off, I'll get you guys your whiteboard and we'll start in a minute. So for those of you joining us from home, um, asking how do I count my reps, if that's something you're interested in doing, what I would recommend, instead of writing them down between each movement, have a running count in your head. So let's say you get 15 thrusters in the first minute. When you start your power cleans in the next minute, just count from, six, from, from 16 on. Let's say you get to like 31. Then when you get to your hops, then start from 32. And then at the one minute rest, you'll have one big number. Take that one big number, write it down. I already got on your her whiteboard. For our children, we're not gonna keep score. We're just gonna have them move with us. Babe, go ahead and grab your odd object and bring it back to the frame. We're gonna get going soon. I'm gonna have you guys all demo the movement. So we're gonna start with the dumbbell goblet thruster. She's gonna hold the dumbbell, um, one, or you can hold both heads. That way you can go overhead, yeah. So notice that she's got a hand on each of the heads, one, two, of the dumbbell. She's going to go into a full squat, and then as she finishes the top of her squat, she's gonna press overhead and lock all the way out. Elbows are straight, biceps are by her ears, heads through that window. Good, go ahead and go right back down to the next one. Guys, you're opening with what I would consider to be the hardest movement. And for me, go ahead and put it down. Aria, can you demo that same movement? So you're gonna pick it up, put it up by your shoulders. You're gonna do a full squat, no, no, on front. You're gonna do a full squat. Remember, your feet are apart. Knees are apart, hips back, and then press overhead. Good, back down. Perfect, no 
Those are our thrusts. Good, you can take a break. We're gonna go on to our single dumbbell power cleans. These are from the ground. And you alternate hands every five reps. So Tanya, go ahead and you can either go from between your legs or from the outside. It's totally your preference. Just make sure that as you're doing it, you keep your back super flat. That natural S curve of her spine is gonna be maintained because she's flexing her core and she's squeezing her butt. Go ahead, Ben. And lock it up, back down. You only have to touch the front head to the floor. Perfect. And switch. We'll pretend that was five. And that's rep three. Rep four. Rep five. Perfect, babe. Here's what you're gonna do, sweetheart. You're gonna go from the ground up to your shoulders. And then right back down. And then up to your shoulders. Show me. And up and back down. And up and back down. Make sure you keep it close to your feet, okay? I don't want to weigh out in front of you. I don't want you to hurt your back. There you go. Perfect. The next movement is gonna be hops over our dumbbell or our odd object. You can hop laterally like Tanya's about to do, or you can face the object and hop and turn around. Either way, doesn't matter. Or do you want to jump backwards? Turn around and jump backwards. Turn around. Yeah, that works too. Hopping is a good stimulus. It's a good um, athletic movement. Aria, can you jump over that safely? Good. Jump over. There you go. Go sideways. There we go. Perfect. Aria demonstrating on the box. One second, we've got a climb, baby. Ooh. The next movement is going to be our single arm push press. So time's going to demonstrate again. We're going to change every five. So let's go reps three, four, and five, babe. Dip, drive, and finish overhead. Notice that she's driving most of the weight with her legs. It's about 70% hips, 30% arms. She is locking out at the top. It's one dip and drive. If you're familiar with CrossFit or Olympic weightlifting, it's not a jerk. You're not doing a second dip. Babe, if you could pick that up back to where you cleaned it, up to your shoulders, on the sides. There you go, up to your shoulders, and then just dip drive and push overhead. That works for me. Guys, if your kids at home um, don't know how to do a push press, but they can just go shoulder to overhead, their weight should be light enough anyway, just press it overhead. Boom, there you go, perfect. And our last movement is going to be the burpee. Guys, we're gonna show you a couple modifications to the burpees right now. The standard burpee, you start standing and you don't jump first. Some fitness modalities do have you jump first. We go down and lay down first. So notice, chest to deck, she's gonna snap up, feet up, jump up, fully extended, hands over her head. Um, if that's too hard, bring the box back in a bit. I want to show you a modification that doesn't have a push-up, that's a lower impact and quite a bit easier for everyone to do at home. You can do this to a chair. You can do this to a step stool. Just make sure it doesn't fall over when you go down to it. Go ahead and come down. You can do a push-up if you're capable or a half push-up, that's perfect. And then still jump up and stand up and go right back down and right back up. That's an option to do without a push-up. If your arm strength can't quite support your weight, uh, or this is your first time doing high intensity fitness, go ahead and just don't do the push-up today. I'm sure that we'll have plenty of opportunities to do a burp play and get your non-push-up dumbbell yeah, in the So get you guys here's the right point, we'll start two, one, go. That's gonna start in zero minutes. The first whole minute, all they're doing is thrusters. The second whole minute, all they're doing is power moves. The third minute, hops over their object. Fourth minute, push press to overhead, single arm if you're using a dumbbell, both hands if you have an odd object, like a foam roller or a baby. And then the last minute is burpees before you do a minute rest. Athletes, go ahead and grab your water. We're gonna get started.
starting with thrusters. We're going in 10 seconds. Three.
So far, ladies, how was that, babe? It hurts your arm. You're doing so good. You got two more rounds, okay?
please. I know, this is really CrossFit, babe. You're doing good. Hey, one more round. One more round for those of you at home. You can do this. It's only one more minute of thrusters, one more minute of cleans, some hops, some shoulder overhead, and then everyone's favorite, some burpees. Guys, we have 40 seconds left of rest until you finish your last round of working out. Maybe you should get some water now. Seconds. Hi. No one's on camera right now, man. Guys, you guys aren't tired. 15 seconds till we start. You are getting tired. I want you to be extra careful when you're jumping over your object. Like Aria has switched to, she's jumping next to it or behind it. I don't want anyone falling at home. We're going in three, 